Cause it's too cold for you here and now. So let me hold both your hands in. Well, good afternoon, you cracking people. It's Tuesday afternoon, it is ten past four. I've just had a mammoth road trip, just driven up to Scotland. Um, I left home at 8.30, so God knows how long that's taken me. My brain is all fuzzy. But anyway, yeah, it's 10 past four, so I'm here, which is all good. And um, that's the hotel just there. The Dakota Hotel on the Fourth Road Bridge. I stayed here last September. Um, and I did vlog about it then. I just can't remember which vlog it was. But anyway, yeah, so I've been here before a few times. Lovely hotel. I'm absolutely cream crackered. So I'm going to check in. Hey, so let's hello go. Hello again. Right, I've just checked in. And uh, the room is fantastic. Let me just give you a quick room tour. As I like to do on such trips. <laughs> so here's the bathroom. Lovely big walk in shower. Look at that shower head, massive. So that's cool. Oh, there's me. Hi guys. And again, nice sink. Right out the bathroom. Here, look at the size of that bed. Never mind the bed, look at the size of those cushions. Absolutely massive. But it does look bloody nice. I hope you can see that all right. Nice big TV on the wall. If you can see that, the lighting's a bit poor. And then nice desk. The view out the window is a bit pants, but hey, traffic going past. So yeah, all very nice, I think. So I'm quite happy with that. Very nice, Ask after my very long journey up the motorway this morning, or well, the whole day quite frankly. Um, right, I'm going to uh, unpack some of my stuff and then um, pop over to the shops to get something to eat I guess. And maybe nip down the bar for a pint, we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys are all well, you're all good, and you've had a cracking Tuesday. I'm staying here tonight and tomorrow night and uh, driving back Thursday so I'm meeting up with a colleague tomorrow and we're going up to Dundee to a hospital there and then um, heading into Glasgow to um, another hospital there just showing them some of our new pacemaker technology so it should be bloody good. I'll show you this. A lovely little welcome note from the hotel how nice is that and I've got some snacks in a jar which is very nice and I've also just noticed that they've got USB chargers on the wall in socket form which is fantastic such a great idea it's going to go down to the um, bar for a drink and possibly get something to eat or I was going to walk across the road to Burger King because there's a Burger King just across the well, the car park literally but instead I'm so tired it's absolutely ridiculous it's just hit me so I walked across to the Tesco's and I've got a bit of a food haul for my dinner so have a look at this I have got a feta and semi-dried tomato pasta I've got a aromatic aromatic even edamame and pea salad which I'm going to mix the two up Got some bananas, some pano chocolate for the morning, and a broccoli and tomato quiche, and a Yazoo strawberry. I'm gonna milk. have some of that for my dinner tonight because I just cannot be bothered to um, sit downstairs in the restaurant or walk across the Burger King. I'm absolutely shattered. So yeah, good times, my friends. And um, yeah, I might even get into bed by. 6 30 <laughs> we'll see how it goes hey hello guys it's wednesday afternoon i hope you're all good 
It's about three o'clock. I have been to, um, I think it's called the New Victoria, no, the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Glasgow this morning, which was really good. Had an excellent meeting there. And then we were going to go to um, Nine Wells Hospital in Dundee, but because of the strong winds, the fourth road bridge has been shut uh, because a lorry overturned on it this morning. And you can't get across, and surrounding traffic is just a bloody nightmare. So we've abandoned our plan to go to Dundee this afternoon, which is absolutely fine because I've got all this paperwork to work through. So I'm going to do that um, now. I'm going to head down to the bar, get a drink, and uh, work through all that paperwork. But it is so windy outside, it's absolutely unbelievable. And there is snow forecast for tonight as well, so it's going to be interesting to see um, what I wake up to when I look out the window tomorrow morning, whether there's a lot of snow. Because that could change my travel plans tomorrow, <laughs> but we shall see. Anyway, I hope you're having a cracking Wednesday. Let's head down to the Rose of my sweater. Well, hello again. So, I'm back from downstairs, the bar. I've just ploughed through all that paperwork, so that's all done. I'm so happy. And now, I'm going to walk across to the shops and get some dinner, because last night, that Edamame... What is it even called? Edamame bean salad? I don't know, fuck it. Anyway, it was delicious, so I'm going to get that again. And some other bits rather than eat downstairs, because nothing... I just had a look, brief look at the menu and nothing really was jumping out at me. So, I'm going to head across to the shops and get something for dinner. So let's go. Well, hello you legends. I hope you like my complimentary slippers. You know my feet are absolutely freezing so I had to put them on it is so freaking cold and windy outside I've just been across to the supermarket so I'm just going to show you my food haul for tonight <laughs> I've got some red grapes some corn cocktail sausages I love those bad boys got a cheese and onion quiche got a little small sticky toffee pudding some salted caramel cookies. I will save most of them for my journey home tomorrow. The uh, aromatic edamame and pea salad that I had last night combined with the feta and semi-dry tomato pasta salad. And as I did last night, I will combine those two salads uh, to make one lovely salad, um, which was really delicious last night. <laughs> so yeah, all good. So that's my little food haul. I hope you've had a good Wednesday. This time last night. Now, what is the time? It's 20 to 6. So by about half past 6, 7 o'clock last night, I was already in bed. It's so nice. Look at this bed. I know I showed you yesterday, but look at the size of it. It is so nice to be able to get into bed at half 6, 7 o'clock and just relax and just watch the TV. My wife will be very jealous. Um, but yes, I hope you've had a good day. I'm going to tuck into all this food. Well, good morning, good people. Welcome to the vlog. And welcome to Thursday. Anyway, I hope you're all well. And I hope you're not uh, too affected by uh, weather disruption today, wherever you may be. And you have a good day. Right, I better get up. I've just got back into bed, just made a cup of tea, <laughs> which is very nice. 
Uh, last night I was on um, Strava, just having a look, and I'm probably, probably some of you have already um, seen this for your own um, year in sport. But they've done a, they've put together a little kind of animation for your year in sport. As you can see there, my total distance for 2016 was 2,211 miles completed. Now for me, that was absolutely fantastic because at the start of 2016 I set a goal of 1,000 miles um, to ride last year and um, as the year went on I really didn't think sort of that much about it but then towards the end of the year I'd realised that I'd absolutely smashed it and I guess the point that I'm trying to make is when setting your goals for 2017 don't make them totally unachievable so last year, as I said, I'd, I'd, I'd carried out 2,211 miles. And um, so for 2017, I'm just going to up it to like 2,500, or I have already upped it to 2,500 miles. So I know that um, the way I've started off riding in January so far, if I carry on doing the miles that I'm doing, I know that that goal is pretty much achievable and come the end of the year I should smash it which will be amazing and just gives you such a great feeling to know that the goals that you've set out are achievable and that you can overachieve they're not sort of way out there in the distance and um, maybe a bit unachievable so yeah I just set my goal for 2500 miles a little bit more than I achieved this year but I think I can do it and um, if I do do it, it will be fantastic, a great achievement. So, yeah, I'm probably waffling on a bit, but I'm sure you get what I mean. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to take a quick look at this Strava animation for my year in sport 2016. There you go. Set your goals. Make sure they're achievable. And go and smash it, guys. You know what I think about, and what I think about. One love, two mouths. One love, one house. No shirt, no blouse. Just us. You find out nothing that I wouldn't want to tell you about. No, cause it's too cold. Just gone nine o'clock, Thursday morning, just about to leave. All packed, as you can see. I've already taken some bags down to the car. But um, just looked out the window. I don't know if you can see that, but it's started to snow. <laughs> it's looking pretty grim. So, exciting times, I better hit the road. Hold, hold, both your hands in the holes of my sweater If I may just take your breath away I don't mind if there's not much to say Sometimes the silence guides a mind So move to a place so far away, yeah The goosebumps start to raise The minute that my left hand meets your waist And then I watch your face Put my finger on your tongue Cause you love the taste, yeah These eyes adore Everyone the other beats hardest for